All right, this next plant, uh, I apologize for not being in the shop, but uh, we're actually got the camera pushed up against a fence because uh, this plant is inside of a construction area. But this is number 121, Turnstromia gymnanthera. This is a Japanese uh, Turnstromia. Uh, a lot of confusion in the trade with this plant. You oftentimes it's, it's, uh, hear it called um, Japanese Clayera. And so there is confusion between Turnstromia and the genus uh, Clayera, or Clayera japonica. But what we have here is truly Turnstromia gymnanthera. The leaves are uh, quite uh, uh, fleshy. They have a, a quite a, um, for lack of a better term, a meaty feel to them. Um, they don't have a really distinctly impressed midrib above or below. You can actually feel it somewhat uh, on the outside if you look below. Um, they do have consistently quite red petioles. They tend to have this um, uh, leaves that are crowded out towards the tips. It has this nice sympodial growth. And what we're seeing on the plant right now uh, are some fruit uh, that are ripening uh, around in various ages. It does uh, in various stages. And it does tend to have uh, flowers and fruit that sort of look like a, uh, the fist of a hand sort of hanging down, uh, if that makes any sense to you. But anyway, uh, not one of the toughest plants as far as uh, uh, drought and things like that. Um, but can uh, be a nice evergreen uh, addition to the landscape. That is Turnstromia gymnanthera.